everybody thank you so much for joining me in this video where I will be making I'll be painting a gouache study in my sketchbook before I talk about anything related to the video though I just want to say please let's just ignore my cat laying next to me in the video uh, even though him laying next to me kind of restricted my arm movements it's okay it was a cute distraction uh, he has the perfect timing when it comes to these things when he wants to be affectionate he just chooses the perfect moment you know just when I'm about to film a video just lays next to me but that's okay uh, I also didn't have the heart to move him so whatever <laughs> So uh, I will link the reference photo I got off of Pinterest in the description as well. But yeah, I just felt like I hadn't done a gouache painting in a long time. So I just thought I would record myself uh, in the process because I actually wasn't planning on posting a video this week. I actually don't even know if th I will be able to put this up this week, which I, I mean, I hope I will. But I've been trying to be a little more consistent with my uploads. Uh, I generally uh, stick to bi-weekly uploads, but this time I try to do... I'm trying to be better with consistency, let's just say. I'm trying to see if I can upload every week. Uh, procrastination is a very challenging thing to get over, but hey, you know, I'm posting. Also, I just want to say, I'm not sure if Fridays are better posting days or Saturdays are better posting days. So let me know, please. Uh, I don't, for me, I generally prefer Fridays, but I know that for some people, they may be busy on Fridays, work, school, things like that. So maybe Saturdays are better. I don't know, I'm, I'm willing to change my upload schedule from Friday to Saturday. Uh, I mean, that also would, you know, actually it won't change much <laughs> for me, so just let me know. So, in the reference photo, I want to also talk a little bit about the video, not just, you know, rambling off. In the reference photo, there are a lot of these dark sections that are almost close to black. And a lot of art teachers would recommend that you don't use black straight out of the tube. Uh, instead, they recommend that you use colors that are closer to black or that you mix your own colors. So what I did is I mixed brown with very dark purple uh, to kind of get the dark color of the wood on the sides and of the table. And I think with this piece especially, I had to trust the process. At first, it wasn't looking good, uh, especially with my paints. I think it's because... I'm not sure why, maybe it's the quality, maybe it's because it's been sitting at the side for a while, but uh, the pigment and the like the binding agent, I think, just separated, and so I had this very weird texture of a paint. So I had to kind of work through that at the start, but then as you kind of use the paints, things go back to normal. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what I have been doing <laughs> in this video those were the challenges i don't know what else i want to talk about oh yeah i wanna i wanted to be a little bit looser with this sketch with this painting uh i tried to kind of convey the same scenery with like the same message with broader brush strokes if that makes sense so i tried not to pay too much attention to the details um, I think, I mean, I haven't been too successful. I wouldn't also say I failed at it. It looks decent enough, but I think it still has a bit uh, more detail than I would have liked because I, I, I don't want to say I'm going for the abstract look, but kind of the very blocky look. That was my goal at the start, but that didn't happen. But... I still liked it. It still turned out good considering that it had been a while since I used gouache. Um, I think the curtains were my favorite part also. Maybe it's because it's blue and blue is my favorite color, you know? No, no, no. But uh, you'll see later on in the video where I add little details to the curtain, uh, little designs, and I think that really helped um, 
that just really helped with the curtain looking really nice I don't know what to say also I think if I were to do this again I would probably use a lighter color for the flower I know in the video I'm not there yet but there's this purple uh, flower as you may see in a thumbnail and I don't know I feel like the color was a little too dark so I would have liked to maybe make it lighter but again this was meant to be just a quick study uh, I liked the reflection that I was able to capture on the table. At first it didn't look too good, but when I mixed a white with brown and got that very light color, and I was able to uh, kind of add that color where the table and the window would meet on the paper, that kind of added that very nice glossy look. So. I don't know, I also really liked how the curtain, I was able to capture the transparency of the curtain. Um, for me, watercolors are my main medium. So achieving that look would have been easier with watercolors for me. And to be honest, I didn't have high hopes for myself when it came to painting the curtain with gouache because it was transparent and I don't have much practice with that. But I like the way it turned out surprisingly and you know if my friend was here she would be like wow you actually like something that you've done but hey you know, it's nice to be proud of something that you do once in a while especially considering the amount of time this took like I I like I said I'm trying to be consistent with my uploads so I didn't spend too much time on the painting I'm trying to spend less time on the editing and the voiceover so that I can get videos out more frequently so yeah like considering that I didn't spend too much time on this I think it turned out nice and this is like one of the last few pages of my sketchbook actually so I think next week's video will be me painting the last um, page of my sketchbook and it will probably be me reviewing this sketchbook kind of giving my final thoughts then there will be a sketchbook tour I love watching sketchbook tours so I'm very excited to have a sketchbook tour video and then painting the cover of my new sketchbook and that's the plan for the next few weeks um, and enjoy some you know tape peeling <laughs> some people seem to enjoy it I think it looks really cool too it kind of shows the final product but yeah I think that's it thank you for watching please take care